Guys, so we are going to break some film down between the 49ers and the Eagles. My goodness, Kyle Shanahan just continues to delight one of the greatest offensive minds in today's game. NFL, college, you name it, all of the above. Just one of the best in the business to be able to do it. We're going to be able to kind of break down a few of these plays and just show you exactly what he did to attack the Eagles defense and what led them into a big time win. Okay, so first things first, they just motioned out Christian McCaffrey outside of the tackle box. Then they're going to motion Debo Samuel across, and he does this orbit return motion. What this sets up is like this escort block out there for Debo Samuel and just creates a numbers advantage in the swing. But he is going to take his access route, the pre-access route, on the back side. He takes a quick out route to Brandon Ayuk because in the motioning process between Christian McCaffrey and Debo Samuel, he's able to identify the defenses in zone coverage. No one's really locking up. No one's traveling across with Debo Samuel. They're just bumping their coverage. So he likes the off cushion on the backside, and he takes Brandon Ayuk, and it's a great play early in this game. I will say this, the 49ers did come out and struggle. The Eagles did a really good job of bottling them up. I think they held them to like two, three and outs or very quick drives. But it was in that third drive, this one right here, where the 49ers really started to get into a rhythm and, been a and were able to just get a numbers advantage and be able to attack them. In this play right here, you're going to see Debo Samuel right there in the middle of the box. He's motioning over across. But what you really got to do is look at... Kittle. Kittle goes in motion right here. And what he does, he sets up shop showing like a split zone pass protection action, which is great. It fools the defense. That defensive end expects Kittle to just box him out. So that can, he continues into his pass rush. Kittle then slips right off and there's a soft zone. No one threatened the flats. And so he continues to just be wide open right there. They do got concept going down the field. But as soon as Purdy is able to recognize that there's no flat defender, he ran off with a deeper route. Look at this. Show it. Chip. Go. Check it down to George Kittle. And he is able to make a big time play and get deep into the red zone. Okay, so this is the exact same drive, just a couple plays later. As you saw earlier in that first drive, you saw that orbit kind of return motion that Debo Samuel did at the start of this drive, and you're going to see them have a play off of that. So Debo Samuel's at the top outside of this bunch condensed set. He's going to motion across. He's going to orbit motion. They're going to fake sweep to him, boot, and then you got a high-low read, and they hit the backside pylon drag to Brandon Ayuk. This is just a great, another accessory play off of their motion. And just look at the flow. You have to be honest about the sweep going the opposite way with Debo Samuel. He's got a lead blocker in, I think that's Christian McCaffrey in the backfield. The line is showing sweep away, so that gets the hard flow. And then... Anytime you get the quarterback to turn his back to the defense, that gives the ultimate play action. It's the tradition in the West Coast offense. He turns his back. He gets a hard boot fake. And then the little pump right there really got that defender to bite. And then it's six. If you would, guys, if you like this video, do me one solid favor. Hit that like button. It always push it out to a larger audience. And subscribe. Join the community. That way you don't miss any more content. And we just grow this thing together. Back to the video. So this is the very next drive. As you've already can tell, we've already seen that orbit return motion now a couple times. And that they have already shown a boot off of it that resulted in six. And you're going to see it on the very next play of the very next drive. But, of course, there's always things going off of it. So, Christian McCaffrey's in the backfield. He's going to motion out. You still got Kyle Juszczyk in the backfield. Debo Samuel's going to motion across. But then he gets that orbit return motion. And after checking what he sees in front of him, he doesn't like what's there. Kind of like running a mesh concept. Flips it out to Debo Samuel. He's got a nice lead block out there for him and picks up easy yardage. You're going to get like a spot route here in the middle. They're bumping it. Eagles played a lot of zone in this game. Did not like man coverage against San Francisco. And they were able to have some success as this game went on. 
Okay, on this next play, you're going you're starting to see this a lot in the NFL. You're going to get this jet motion across, but what they're calling it is an escort motion. He's going to motion across, but he's just going to allow the offense to get an extra hat to the party post snap. He motions across, snap the ball, throw it out to Debo Samuel quick, and now he is the one who's leading up on the corner uh, because your outside receivers are taking proper angles and they are getting down blocks. So this creates just an extra hat post snap. Snap it, get it out there quick, down blocks on the perimeter, and then he leads up on the corner and they get another positive gain and they're already inside the five. All right, so this one right here is pretty dang dirty. So they already motioned a receiver out to the top of the screen. It's hard for me to be able to see who that is. So they've already done one motion. They're going to motion Christian McCaffrey in like a little shuffle outside of the tackle box. And they're getting the Eagles in a man coverage. So we'll kind of show it right here. He motions out. Shuffle, shuffle. And then from here... Brock Purdy is able to recognize that it's man coverage. He's got locked up people on the outside. So the backer that bumped out is now manned up on Christian McCaffrey, which is a nightmare uh, matchup for the Eagles. And right here, he kind of makes it look like he's got an option route, acts like he's going out, but it's a little out and up, and it's just completely wide open. But you really got to give credit to Brock Purdy. He is a master of this system, and he just puts this ball in the perfect spot. Watch him right here. Be patient. Shuffle that guy out, recognize the coverage, and then he puts a great touch pass over the defender right into Christian McCaffrey's hands. Big time play. Okay, so two more plays. This is the still uh, the same drive that we're on that you just have been witnessing, and uh, what you're getting here is a reverse end around, and the way they block this up, it's very nice. You get George Kittle going in like a joker motion. He's faking a motion and going across. He's going to come back. He's going to get set up, and then you're going to get a jet motion out of Brandon Ayuk, and then you're going to fake the handoff Christian McCaffrey, toss it back to the outside, but then you have a lead blocker with Kittle who went in that joker motion at the start, and so you're going to really see it here in the end zone copy. He gets reset back up. Now watch. He's going to fight across like it's split zone and then dip. It's incredible technique. This this right here, Kittle is showing the defensive end that he is setting up for like a kick out block, which could be a split zone action or a counter action. He's going to attack the inside hip, show rip underneath, and now he is on the perimeter being a lead blocker. And then great effort getting both guys and it ends up for six. Okay, so now this is later in the game, and this is the tunnel screen that really just broke the spirits of the Eagles. And right here, get it out there to Debo quick. You can see the offensive line's already on a great track. But in this instant, it really does look like the Eagles are in a pretty good position to defend this. They've got good pursuit. They've got multiple defensive linemen pursuing to the ball. Get a corner on the outside edge. They've got a safety filling the alley, safety coming across. But just the great vision and effort by Debo to get it out and the offensive line getting out in front. And this was just a back breaking play for the 49ers and it was just and it ended up just being a dog a, you know just a dog beating on the Eagles uh 49ers now showing that they are fully capable of being the best team in the NFC in my opinion and I'm telling you it's got a lot there's a lot of pieces that goes into the San Francisco 49ers but it is headed up by that head coach Kyle Shanahan, who's one of the greatest minds, offensive minds in all of football. And then he's got the pieces to go with it. And it's just, it's a fine tuned machine that's going on down there in San Francisco. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section below. As always, guys, like the video, subscribe to join the family, and stay humble, stay kind. Peace.